Yeah, guys, I'm holding for the long term. 10,000 stock price. Neo stock. Neo stock, guys, holding for the long term. We're going to talk about Neo stock. How we get to $10,000. How we get to a $10,000 stock price, guys. Well, I'll tell you how. I'm going to tell you how. So it's not financial advice, just to say, and just my opinion. I'm going to tell you how we're going to get to a 10,000 stock price for NEO stock. So get ready, guys. We're going to look at the chart. Look at this, moving up. But this is nothing. This is nothing yet, guys. It's touching at the moment. 490, 491, I've seen it seen it go 491 let's see if it's i think it's been higher i think it's been a bit higher the neo stock guys neo stock let's put it on the 10 minute chart let's see how high it actually oh it's just jumped up guys it's just jumped up there it is how high has it been 494 wow Told you guys it was going to make a move in my previous videos. So there it is. Let's put it on the um, 30 minute chart. See that move, guys? It just jumped from. Oh, that's today. Right, hang on. Just want to make sure. So it jumped. It's the 22nd. Yeah, it's jumped. Right. Guys, let me put it on the one hour chart. I told you in my previous videos that <clears throat> it's going to spike. I called it Spike Friday, but a few videos before that, I said it was overdue. It should have went up already last week. I did call it right. I think I'd called it right, but events. Events bashed it down, guys, because otherwise I would have been spot on with the patterns and everything. But you know, long term, if you're a NEO holder long term, right, you got to think that with all what NEO's doing, expanding and selling more, you know, albeit some weeks, some months don't appear to be <clears throat> that much of an increase, but that's because... Obviously, they're expanding so fast that they're not always going to be... Well, look, they got hit with the the deal, right? People were going to get a discount and they couldn't f fulfill the orders. So they got hit by that. That's number one. Then they got hit by so-called insurance registrations, which, as I explained, that when lease companies and uh, hired car companies, you know, rentals... They don't insure every single vehicle, right? So you can't go by that. But they got hit by that because of the newbie day traders. Then obviously the election, talk of tariffs, they got hit by that. But overall, obviously the spending's gone up. The debts, I don't know, some some respects are going to increase. But profits are going to increase over time. And then I'll ultimately reduce those debts. So to go in, not that they need to, not that they need to, but to go into America and more into Europe, they're going to have to get a deal. Otherwise, it's going to hurt Tesla and companies like Tesla. You impose tariffs on China, then even if te China doesn't impose, impose tariffs on US companies in China, they could say, well, don't buy US products, buy Chinese guys. And then that's going to hurt sales of Tesla and the companies like Tesla. So you can't have it one way. Tesla, you know, Tesla and companies like Tesla can't have it all their way. You know, they can't, can't, you know, exclude China. So anyway, to bring China into their country, they're going to have to partner with them if they want to get a slice of the cake, right? And that's probably what they're doing or going to do 
they're going to do partnership deals. American companies like Tesla, etc., are going to do partnership deals with Chinese EV companies and NEO being one, and then bring them in to the US, yeah, to sell, you know, EVs in America, NEOs, NEO vehicles, right? And so the profits, the, the, the stock price in EO goes to the moon. And then they load up these Americans, you know, investors and the Middle East investors, etc. But notwithstanding, Neo are moving into the Middle East anyway, right? And Azerbaijan and in the Middle East, they've got trillions. They've got trillions of dollars, right? They've got money like raining down on them let alone like the interest and investments or whatever like Elon Musk has got. They've got literally, from the oil, right, they've got money raining down on them. It's an oxymoron, right, because it doesn't rain, obviously, a lot in, in, in um, you know, Saudi Arabia. But they're, they're swimming in money, let's put it that way. So they can buy Neo stock today right they can put two like one billion ten billion whatever in neo stock they can buy the whole company with a phone call buy the whole lot right buy all the shares all available shares on the way up now ultimately you're going to start to see big big results this time next year right 2025 big results and then in 2026, by the end of 2026, you're going to start to see, you know, they're going to go into third gear. And that's the, the maximum, you're going to get up to the maximum torque in, in third gear, right? Maximum torque. And obviously they've got further gears. They've got four, fifth, six, and even more gears, right? Because they're on auto, automatic, overdrive warp zone right so in my opinion right not financial advice that what's going to happen is you're going to get to a stage where neo stock is going to be a thousand dollars and then it's possibly a thousand to two thousand dollars right and then they're going to take obviously they're going to they're going to they're going to do some kind of split right where i mean look guys at some point as the stock rises they're gonna have to make look the stock when when the people buy up the, the shares in neo they're gonna have to make available more shares and also to fulfill the progression of neo so it's going to be you know splits along the way right there's going to be splits along the way. And that's how we're going to get to a $10,000 stock price. Although it might not be, you know, because of the splits, it's difficult to work out. But if you just want to say as it stands, if, to not make it complicated, right? If you just say, right, as it stands, number of shares in issue, um, versus how high stock price can go of NEO. Let's say there was no splits, there were, there were no shares added, etc. Just based on kind of like to not overcomplicate it. Number of shares in issue at the moment. And let's just say they advanced the company along. So we're going to be at the end of 2026. Let's say we've already seen sixty-seven dollars, but that, that's nothing. That's nothing. Like, and that was in a pump, right? That's nothing. You know, if you've got Chinese buying, and you've got Americans buying, and you've got Europeans buying, and you've got people from the Middle East buying, and all other countries, right? Then you're talking. You're talking like two thousand dollars. $2,000. So you can work that out, guys. 
if you're if you're talking two thousand dollars, let's say, right, I'm gonna show you, like, I'm gonna put it on the calculator, bring up the calculator. Right, so if you're talking two thousand dollars, this is without splits, right? Without splits. And let's just say stock price five dollars. So you've got X four hundred. X four hundred times whatever um whatever your investment, initial investment is. So X four hundred, whatever you invested. Let's say you invested I don't know, five thousand pounds. Might have invested more or less. Five thousand dollars, sorry. So you're gonna have two million dollars, right? It's not financial advice, just my opinion. Two million dollars. It's on the basis you invested five thousand dollars. Right? So obviously you can get to ten thousand dollar stock price with as i said with the splits if they reduce shares first of all if they add shares and then reduce by taking your two giving you one etc then obviously that stock price is going to be a lot higher but to 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 iron it out yeah not to overcomplicate things 400 x 400 right x 400 is not inconceivable it's not inconceivable that's a possibility x 400 right it's a possibility and as i said if if if, if all the stars line up and they get partnerships, you know, as I said, and they get the partnerships and the stock gets heavily invested, right, from in, if in America, as I said, China, you know, Europe and Middle East, etc., all at the same time, right, that's a possibility. And that that's four hundred times, right? But if you look at it another way, let's look at it this way, right? If you think about this way, like currently, if you, if you got say say the stock's five dollars now, and it doubles to ten, and look how many doubles you got to get to that figure, it's two. That's three, three doubles, right? Four doubles, five, six. It's showing you it's not a lot of doubles. Seven, don't think it's impossible. Eight, nine, that's over. I see two and a half thousand. Right, that's just nine doubles, guys, to two thousand, two thousand, two 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 and a half thousand dollars. Right, that's just nine doubles. Don't think it's not possible, right? But obviously, like if you want to take it to ten thousand, that's ten, eleven doubles. There you go, more or less eleven thousand, just under. So eleven thousand, right? But if you if you want to talk about getting to two thousand, then it's nine doubles, or X four hundred of five dollars. It's not inconceivable. We've seen it with other stocks, so it's it's a poss it's a possibility with Neo, and that's why it's important to make up your mind if you're holding for the long term or if you're a swing trader and you want to cash cash out right as i said in some other video i don't know what one i can't remember if you 
you want 50%, 70%, and good luck to you. Take your profit. I don't expect it always to come down again. Not financial advice, right? Because a stock that's going to spike and go to the moon is not going to come down again, right? So you're not going to be able to get in again if it went to the moon. That's not financial advice, just my opinion, but obviously it's factual. Stocks that go to the moon, you're not going to, they're not going to come down to $5, $4 for you to load up again and then go to the moon again. It doesn't work that way. So you've got to make up your mind. You're either going to be holding diamond hands, rock solid diamond hands, right? You're either going to be holding diamond hands or sell up and sell your stock, like fulfill, fulfill the orders of the rich, the super rich, right? We're talking, you know, 10 billion, 100 billion, right? Because they want a lot more shares and they want people, people like to sell. They want people to sell the shares. And that's, that's, that's why a lot of times they bring down the price because they want to fulfill their orders. <laughs> so they put out negative news, right? Like Mr. Prickly Pear. He put out 65 cents, right? Saying like $650 or 65 cents. Why is that? Because he wants to buy more and he's probably being paid to bash it down like in a subtle way, let's say. In a subtle way, he's being paid to bash it down so they can fulfill their orders, you know, bigger orders. But guys... Diamond hands, right? Diamond hands. Diamond hands holding all the way up. Diamond hands, guys. If you want to, you know, if you, look, if you want to ride the waves up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and you'll just, I mean, you don't, you don't want to ride the waves. If, I mean, if you just want to hold and go through the time warp, come out at the other end with a higher stock price, then you're not going to be worried about what happens to the stock, right? Up and down and this and that. You just want to come out the other end, yeah? With your profits. And hopefully in the future, maybe even dividends, you don't know, right? So, but if, you want, if you're looking for a swing trade, you want to buy... You want to buy Neo, um, I don't know, 430, 440, and then go up to 480, 490 and sell it. And you want to buy it again. You think it's going to come down. It's not going to keep doing that forever, is it? It's going to go up and spike up. And you're going to have to find another stock to do that with. Because I've seen it a lot with stocks other stocks they go up they go down they go up they go down and you just know that they're going to take off and then you're not going to get in again right it's happened with a lot of stocks i could name a lot a lot of stocks so we've been watching over the years and trading and it's happened a lot right i don't want to start naming stocks but it's happened a lot with a lot of stocks you only get so many opportunities to do that right if you're new to trading, you, you're not going to realise it. But if you've been trading and investing in stocks for years, you know what I'm saying is true. Once they take off, they take off. So if someone's buying NEO for 50 and it goes up 5, 550, whatever, and they sell, right? And they expect it to come back down and it doesn't. That's it. They've lost their chance. Why don't you sell your stock? You sell your stock. You can't buy back in at the price you was in. You know, you're not going to get that deal again. So just to say, right, Neo spiked up. Neo stock spiked up. Today is the 22nd November 2024. Coming up to 41 minutes past seven. PM UK time. Market's gonna close. Not, I think got another. It's got another hour. I think. 
So he's got an hour and 20 minutes. So Malik's going to close soon. And then obviously you're not going to have much after hours trading, right? It's going to stop. So you're either in it or you're not. If you're in it, like, you wouldn't want to be not in it before the weekend, right? Because it's the start of a new week. Stocks tend to surge Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the whole. Not financial advice. Neo was due to spike. Overdue, as I said, because I, I knew it. I just knew it. And I said it. And it, if it hadn't have got bashed down, it would, already, it would have already been, by now, 9.50 easy, 9.50 dollars. Because it would have, in the first day or two, it would have went prior to, around about the election, or just around about there. Or, 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 not, not the election, like when they were talking about tariffs, the stock then, that day or the next day, it was due to spike based on the patterns, you know, on the chart, the price action would have been 6, 650. And then over the next few days, it would have went to 9, 950, but got bashed down, you see, put a lot of people off, etc. So I think you're going to see, still see it spike. I think it's going to spike, um, but long term, Long term, it doesn't really matter if you're a long term holder. You know, you're not what you don't want to sell and then try and buy in again, etc., etc., for fifty percent, seventy percent. Let's say you buy and sell three, four times, you get fifty percent each time. So you've got like an X two, right? But it's not going to keep going up and down, up and down, or like that. So you keep making once it takes off if you're not in it you're going to lose out on that possible x400 you know maybe more than x400 maybe less maybe x3 x300 maybe x200 but you're going to lose out even if it does an x100 right which is like 500 dollars stock price if it does an X500, then, you know, sorry, X100, right? If it does X100, X100 not X50, what did I say, X50, X100, if it does X100 and you're just a swing trader and you, you're only going to get two or three, you know, Two or three doubles, that's what I'm trying to say. You're going to get two or three doubles, right? Maybe four from going back, you know, a few months ago. But what's better, to, tr to try to get three or four doubles or just to hold it and possibly get, get like a 100 doubles in one hit without you pressing a button, you know? I think long term is the way to go with a stock like Neo. Again, not financial advice, but it's just my opinion, you know. Um, and you get these people, you know, they said downgrade the stock. One minute, is this, they, they got a higher price on the stock. Next minute, not. It's all hogwash, guys. It's all hogwash, right? So many so-called analysts they say neo or this stock should is not is this is that and it goes opposite it's like it's, it's all hogwash and it's all market manipulation so don't follow uh, you know those so-called analysts or hedge funds you know banks type you know investors it's look it's all, it's all manipulation it's all manipulation. At the end of the day, you've got to use your common sense, right? Common sense that you're investing in a company, Neo, that sales are increasing, right, year on year. 
right? Sales are increasing and they're expanding. And you know, ultimately, that big money's got to come in. Right? Big money's got to come in. And that's why they want to bash it down, because they want, you know, they want to get collect more shares at a cheaper price. So, I don't know. That's it, guys. Like, we just have to keep... You just have to let me know in the comments if you're long term, if you're a swing trader, uh, what's your expectations? What's your target price? Because I don't know if, you, if you're serious. I don't know if you're serious. You might be just a swing trader. You might be buying Neo at 450 and selling at 480. I don't know. All right? I don't know what your game is. I don't know what you're, what you're up to. Because you, you, you keep in silence. You're going over to Mr. Prickly Pear's channel <laughs> and listening to him. So I don't know what you're up to, guys. You just just let me know in the comments, all right? If you can hear me, etc. Because I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have a, my liqueur now. I've got liqueur on the rocks, all right? Because the bottle's coming to an end. I don't really like this much this liqueur, but Samuza or whatever it is. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments, yeah, because I'm looking forward to 9.50. I'm looking forward to it meeting my prediction, my target price prediction. Not that I would sell at 9.50. I'm just telling you, like, based on my, you know, judgment, what I think, where I think the stock's going. Well, you know I called it right, right? So many times, as you know, if you listen to my previous videos. So I'm only saying that's my opinion. It's not financial advice. And um, let me know in the comments, guys, 